Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to check out uh, another decision construct in PHP and this one's called the switch statement. So I have a file opened up in my text editor. This one's called switch.php and uh, I have the opening PHP tag on line number six and I have the closing PHP tag on line number 29. And between the opening and closing tags, I have some code. So the switch statement is uh, an alternative to the if else construct. So, you know, the places where you would want to use switch and not if uh, are places when, where you want to make direct comparisons between values. So let's say you want to make a four function calculator, like, you know, you want to work with two numbers and you want to, you know, ask the user the operation that he or she wants to perform on those two numbers, like addition or subtraction or multiplication or division. And based on the input, you want to execute some code, right? And display some values. So I have created two variables on line number seven. Uh, the first one's called X and the second one's called Y. X has the value 15 and Y has the value 10. And then I have created a variable called OP, which is short form for operator. And this one at the moment has, you know, the value at the rate. And uh, since we are going to work with operators, you know, the values that this variable uh, is going to take, all the values have to be uh, of character type, right? So let me change this to addition, you know, for the time being. So let's say you want to perform the addition operator on these two num addition operation on these two numbers. So if you want to use a switch statement, what you'll have to do is type in switch and then within parentheses, you'll have to pass in a uh, value and uh, you know we are going to pass in the value that's contained in the variable op so it's going to take the operator and then within the opening and closing curly brace for the switch statement we're going to have a number of cases right so at the moment we have a case for the addition uh, operator subtraction operator multiplication operator division operator modulo operator and then we also have a default case so the switch statement is going to check whether the value in the variable operator is the same as this or this or this or this or this and if you know the value doesn't match with any of these cases it's going to execute the default case which is invalid operator right so it's going to display that, that message because we have the echo statement here so now the way you design your cases is uh, you type in the way uh, the keyword case you give a space and then you have a label for your case. And this has to be the value that uh, you provide for, uh, you know, the variable that is passed to the switch statement. So, you know, since we uh, want to perform arithmetic operations, we only have arithmetic operators as case labels. So the addition operator, if this is matched with the value in the variable OP, is going to simply add the two values dollar x plus dollar y and it's going to display the result on screen because we have uh, echo here and since we do not want the remaining cases to execute you know we have uh, a statement called break and we're going to talk about the break statement in detail you know later on when we uh, talk about loops i'm going to discuss the break statement there but for the time being just uh, remember that the break statement helps you break out of the switch construct in case a match is confirmed between the value that's passed to the switch statement and uh, any one of the case labels, right? So the break statement after the code in each case is actually important. And uh, you have a colon after, you know, uh, the keyword case and the case label for every case, also the default case. So similarly, we have a, you know, echo statement on line number 16 that's going to work if uh, the operator selected is the subtraction operator and it's going to display the result x minus y you're going to display x multiplied by y if the operator is the asterisk operator if this is the value in the variable op then we're going to divide the two numbers and display on screen uh, you know the result of the division operation and uh, if the operator is the modulo operator then we're going to show the remainder of the division of x with y and as I said, if none of these cases execute, then we are simply going to get into the default case in which I have just one echo statement, which is going to display the message invalid operator. And you could have a break statement after the uh, statement uh, in the default case as well, but it's not important. 
so you know in the default case you don't have to type in break and uh, I'll save the file I'll go to my browser and uh, request for switch dot PHP when I press the enter key I see 25 and uh, that's because the operator that we have selected is the addition operator that's the value in the variable OP and it matches with this case so it just adds the two value values 15 and 10 and shows us 25 and if I would change uh, the value here to percentage and save the file and refresh I'll see 5 as the output because 15 when divided by 10 leaves a remainder of 5 right if I would change this to multiplication and wait did I save the file not sure okay so I'll refresh the page I see 150 right and if suppose I pass in a value like the ampersand symbol as a value to the variable OP and refresh the page I see invalid operator because we have executed the default case so that's it about the switch statement it's a very useful statement and uh, you know you can experiment with the case labels and you could also imagine different scenarios like perform different operations and uh, it's not that you only can have uh, you know character labels you could also have uh, numeric labels and uh, that's something that I leave up to you guys you know an exercise that you can try on your own and in case you have any doubts regarding the switch statement you can comment on this video and I'll reply uh, for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video in which we will discuss something interesting again and uh, that's it for now take care